Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Carter. And I'm Melanie Michael. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday night. We begin with a mother pleading for justice at this hour after someone left her 25-year-old son suffering on the side of the road in Pasco County. Sadly, we have learned tonight that he died from his injuries at Lakeland Regional Medical Center. We are left with questions, though. Investigators still trying to figure out what happened to Dylan Garland. News Channel's Chip Osowski spoke exclusively with Dylan's mother tonight, who is now preparing to bury her child. 25-year-old Dylan Garland was rushed here to Lakeland Regional Medical Center to be treated for his severe injuries. When his mother, Cheryl, learned what happened, she immediately booked a flight so she could be here at her son's side. Cheryl Miller had hope. On Facebook, she asked friends and family for prayers. There's always hope. You're always looking for, you know, the chance um, that, you know, the hospital was was saying it, it didn't look good, that the prognosis wasn't good, but that's all they were telling me. But as time passed, hope faded. This is the last place Dylan Garland was seen, the Lighthouse Bar just up the road in Hernando County. Deputies believe he was walking home along 301 when something happened. He was found with life-threatening injuries near the intersection of Globe Road. His mother hopes someone who saw something will say something. I don't know how it happened, but if um, if anybody does, I, I'm really hoping that, you know, that any information that somebody thinks they might have, even if they don't think it means anything, that they'll come forward and say something. Dylan was an organ donor. Cheryl is now finding some comfort in knowing her son will provide life to others after his death. And knowing that, you know, my, parts of my son are um, still well, walking around and, and being able to live and maybe have children of their own and I hope they hug them and love them and um, cherish every moment. Detectives are still asking for the public's help in this case. If you have any idea of what happened on that dark stretch of roadway early Saturday morning, you're urged to give the Pasco County Sheriff's Office a call. In Lakeland, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8.